yes welcome back students sai ram okay now hope you all must have done your activity and your orals well now before we start with the new chapter let us start with an activity sai ram students now before we start with our new chapter i let us do one activity now here i have got 10 blue coins and 10 pink coins that is in all i have got 20 coins now these 20 coins if i arrange one coin in each row that means i'll be getting 20 rows that means 1 into 20 is equal to 20 so if i arrange one coin i'll be getting how many rows i'll be getting 20 rows that means the number 20 is completely divisible by the number 1 Now the same coins. If I arrange two coins in each row, if I arrange two coins in each row, how many rows I'll be getting? I'll be getting ten rows. Yes. So total. Two coins in each row, so total I'll be getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten with no coins left. So that means the number twenty is completely divisible by. We'll be getting ten rows, so that means the number twenty is completely divisible by two. Now the same coins, if we arrange, that is, if we arrange three coins in each row, three coins in each row, I'll be getting one, two, three, four, five, six rows. That means six threes are eighteen, and two coins left. That means the number is not the number twenty is not completely divisible by three. Correct. Now the same thing. If I arrange four coins, four coins in each row, total I'll be getting how many rows? One, two, three, four, five. So four coins in five rows will give twenty. That means the number twenty is completely divisible by four. So let us take all the possible combinations. Now let us take five coins in each row. <coughs> Five coins in each row means I'll be getting four rows. <coughs> Now here the number five and four is repeated, so that means we have got all the numbers which are completely that all the factors of twenty. So we can say that the number. So we can say that the numbers one, two. Four, five, ten, and twenty are the factors of twenty. So, students, what do you mean by factor? So, factor means a factor is a number, is a smaller number that divides the given number completely without leaving any remainder. So, what is a factor? a factor is a smaller number that divides the given number completely without leaving any remainder so that is what we are going to learn today in our chapter that is we are going to learn how to find the factors and multiples of a given number in our chapter 3 that is factors and multiples factors and multiples now the same example let me give you one example of a multiple now what is a multiple now suppose if i take 5 into 4 is equal to 20 now here we have already learned that 5 is a factor of 20 4 is also a factor of 20 
Whereas we can say that 20 is a multiple of 4 and 20 is also a multiple of multiple of 5. So, what is a multiple? Multiple of a number are obtained by multiplying that number by any whole number. So, let us learn how to find the factors and multiples in this chapter that is factors and multiples. Okay, just now in the activity, I explained you all about the factors and multiples. Yes, so let us learn how to find the factors and multiples and also their properties in chapter 3 that is factors and multiples and today we will be doing part 1 of it. Okay, now children, what is a factor? I already explained you this, but still let us learn again. A factor is a small number that divides the given number completely without leaving any remainder. That is, for example, if I am dividing the number 86 by 2, the remainder is 0. That means the number 86 is completely divisible by the number 2. So, 2 becomes a factor of 86 and also as we obtain the quotient 43, so 43 also becomes, is also a factor of 86. At the same time, what is a multiple? Multiple of a number is the number into any counting number. Now, here I have given you an example of multiples of 5. 5 into 1 is equal to 5. 5 twos are 10. 5 threes are 15. So, 5, 10, 15, all these numbers are the multiples of 5. Hope you all must have understood about what is a factor and a multiple. So, let us go through the properties of factors and multiples. So first let us go through the properties of factors. The first property tells us that the smallest factor of every number is 1. Okay. That means every number is divisible by the number 1 and so it becomes the smallest factor. Again every number is a factor of itself and it is the greatest factor of that number. Suppose if I take the number 86. It is divisible by 86 and the number 86 becomes the greatest factor of that number. A number can have only a limited number of factors. Now, if, I, if you take any number, the last greatest factor is the number itself. So, we have only a limited number of factors. Factors of a number are always smaller than or equal to the number. Suppose if I have take the, taken the number 12. So, the factor can be smaller than 12 or equal to that number that is the number 12. So, it has got only a limited number of factors. Now, let us come to the properties of multiples. Every number is a multiple of itself. A number has unlimited multiples. Any number you can multiply like if I take the number 5. 5 1s are 5, 5 2s are 10. It can go on till whatever number you want to multiply, you can multiply. So, a number has unlimited multiples. Every number is a multiple of 1. The multiples of a number are either greater than or equal to that number. Suppose like in the prop, uh, factor case, it is not like that. You have the factor of a number is always smaller than or equal to the number. Whereas in a multiple, the number of multiple of a number are either greater than or equal to that number. Suppose if you take the number 5, 5 ones are 5, it is equal to that number. Then again it goes on increasing 10, 15, 20. So it is greater than that number. And the last property tells us that every multiple of a number is exactly divisible by that number. Okay. So these are the properties of factors and multiples. Now let us solve some sums based on this. So, the first is, let's recall, if you have your textbook, you can go through this. Let's recall. In that first question, you have to write factors of the following numbers. This you will be writing down in your max notebook. Okay, children. 
So write factors of the following numbers. The number is 46. So you have to find the factor of the, the number which is divisible. So if we take, we'll start from 1 because we have already learned in the property that 1 is the smallest factor of every number. So 1 into 46 is 46. Then the number 46 since 6, the number 6 is in the 1's place. It is an even number so it is divisible by the number 2. So 2 into 23 will give you the number 46. Now 6 plus 4 is 10 which is does not come in the table of 3. So the number 46 is not divisible by the number 3. Yes, now we have found all the possible combinations of 46. Now the number 46 is not divisible by any other number. So 1, 2, 23 and 46 are the factors of 46. Now, coming to the next number 124. Here let us start with 1. 1 into 124 is 124. Now 4 is in 1's place that means it is divisible by the number 2. Now when you divide 124 by 2 you get the quotient has 62 which is also one of the factor. Now 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. It does not come in the table of 3. So 124 is not divisible by 3. Now 124 when you divide it by 4 you get the quotient as 31. So your factors of 124 are 1, 2, 4, 31, 62 and 124 are the factors of 124. Now coming to the next one. Complete the following table and encircle the common multiples. Your, if you have a textbook, you can see the table is given where you have to write 20 multiples of 2. Like you have to multiply the number 2 till 20 times and then write the number here. 10 multiples of 8, like 8 ones are 8, 8 twos are 16 till 10 times. 10 multiples of 12. You will multiply the number 12 till 10 and write all the numbers. Okay. Then you have to encircle the common multiples. In the next one, questions are asked. Common multiples of 2 and 8. Now in this we have written the multiples. Now you have to encircle the common multiples of 2 and 8. Now which are the common multiples of 2 and 8? Here 8, 16, can just circle 8, then 16, 24, 32 and 40. Okay, so these are the common multiples of 2 and 8. Now next question is common multiples of 2 and 12. So which are the common multiples of 2 and 12? So 2 and 12, let us come here. So the first number is 12. Then 24, 36, yes. So these three numbers are the common multiples of 2 and 12. Next one, common multiples of 8 and 12, you have to find the same way. And same way, the common multiples of 2, 8 and 12. Now in this slide, I have written the answer for you. Just after finding the answer, you can check with this slide okay now the fifth question is write the sixth and ninth multiples of the following numbers now the number is given 14 sorry the number is given 14 this 14 you have to multiply by 6 when you multiply 14 6 you will get the answer as 84 and the ninth multiple of 14 is 14 into 9 that is 126 now the same way the 6th multiple of 24, 24 into 6 is 144 and 24 into 9 is 216. That is the ninth multiple of 24. 
okay we already learned how to find the factors and multiples of the numbers so here is an home assignment for you which you have to do it in your homework part and the first question is write factors of the following numbers you have to write all the factors of the numbers that is 85 280 and 75 coming to the next question you have to write the sixth and the ninth multiples of the following numbers the number 17 you will multiply it by 6 you'll multiply it by 9 and write the numbers and find the sixth and ninth multiples of both the numbers so meet you in the next class till then thank you and goodbye